Hey, I'm Bill Gustin. I'm a captain with Miami-Dade, Florida Fire Rescue Department. I've been in the fire service for over 40 years. I began my career as a volunteer firefighter in the Chicago area. And I'm a company officer. Yes, I'm still on the job. Yes, I look like I'm old enough to retire and maybe should, but I'm here once again at Indy to teach another class. The class I want to talk about is hose line operations for fires and multiple family occupancies. It's occurred to me over the years that a lot of the material that examines stretching hose lines to the upper floors of multiple dwellings is predicated on departments that are running with four or five firefighters on their engines, and that is hardly the face of today's fire service. So I developed this class for suburban fire departments that typically don't have that staffing or hose load configurations to rapidly perform a conventional stairway stretch to the upper floors of residential buildings. These are buildings that are not tall enough to be required by code to have standpipes. You're going to have to stretch from the apparatus. If you attend the class, hopefully you will learn methods and techniques for rapidly positioning a hose line with a minimum of personnel to the upper floors of apartments, townhouses, and hotels. Locating a fire in a multiple dwelling. And you know, we've got to know before we go, before we start stretching hose. A foolproof method for determining the amount of hose needed to reach fires in buildings with long hallways and multiple stairways. The number of firefighters necessary to stretch a hose line and advance it. And there's a big difference. Stretching is when you're stretching and laying the hose out dry. Advancing is once it's charged, and there's a big difference in terms of how many people we need. Methods for stretching hose lines into the courtyards of garden apartments when pre-connects are too short. So I hope you come to see me in Indy. should be a good class. It's been well received in the past. And I want you to be safe out there, and we'll see you later.